Hi, I'm Caleb Haney, professional quarterback in the National Football League. Today we're going to talk about running game and quarterback's footwork, getting the ball to the running back properly and uh, having the least amount of fumbles as possible. So I'm going to get Mike to come in here and be our, be our, be our running back for today. The first run we're going to talk about is the inside zone. Now this happens usually two yards from the quarterback in between the garden tackles normally of an inside zone track for the running back. So first of all, you just want to get a nice relaxed stance under center. Okay, now when, when you snap the ball, said hut, you're just going to slide open, okay, and you want to be almost at 6 o'clock. Now, you, a lot of times you hear coaches talk about having a clock, imaginary clock. In front of me is 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is straight behind me. So here you want to open at 6 o'clock, okay, and then you're starting to track the running back. Now you extend the ball and put it right in his stomach and you want to make sure you keep your eyes looking that ball in and as he takes it you just make follow him for a step make sure he has the ball and then you can continue on with your fake and set up okay now that's the inside zone track now we're going to talk about a stretch running play okay so your same thing taking this a uh, nice comfortable stance in the center you want to take it off your left foot a common mistake here is maybe false stepping with your left leg. You don't want to step back and then go. You want to just rotate off of that foot and pivot off of that foot and get the ball quickly and, and out to the running back. Okay. Now if there's no fullback in the game, it's just a single back formation, then you can extend the ball out quickly to let the, let the defense see the ball. And that sets up your play action game for later on. Now if there is a fullback, a lot of coaches will want you to seat the ball and keep it in here until you get to the running back and then extend it. That way you don't have any problems with the fullback hitting the ball out. It's been a common, common problem for teams. It's happened to me in the past, so I can tell you that that's a, that's a big area of uh, emphasis. So now the outside zone footwork, you're going to step at 4 o'clock. Okay, so remember 3 is to your side and 4 is just a little bit more back. So Mike's going to take a wide angle out on the, on the snap. Okay, maybe a little bit wider, Mike. So we'll say, set hut, four o'clock. Then you extend the ball, no fullback. Then you can set up at the end, okay? Another, another run, common run play is a, a set up off of the pass. So you have play action, which is faking the ball to the running back. Then you have kind of a pass play action, okay? Which we call it a draw. Now you're gonna fake like you're passing, you're gonna throw the ball. So taking the snap like you're gonna drop back and want the defense to think you're throwing, the running back's going to do a little block fake like he's going to block a, a blitzer or something like that. So on the snap, Mike's just going to shuffle over and uh, take the ball from me. So it'll be said hut, straight back, like you're going to eyes down the field. Now that's, a comp, that's something big. You want your eyes down the field. You don't want to turn and look because the defense will smell the rat there. They'll sniff out the fact that they're not really running the, they're not really throwing the ball here. They're going to run it. So you want them to think you're throwing it one, two, three steps on your third step. Look back and find the running back. Okay, same thing. And then you just finish out your fake. And maybe you throw a little pass fake in there. Um, just maybe if it, if it makes the guy step one way, then you did your job. Okay, and then another common run play is uh, like a belly play, what we call it. So it'll be uh, a reverse out here. So you'll get the ball and you'll want to shift your weight to your right side because we're going to reverse out and Mike's going to take two steps wide and come straight downhill. So we'll say set hut, reverse out, and you'll step to five o'clock. Then you reach the ball to Mike. Then you just take it back and continue on with your fake. So the key things here when talking about the run game is taking the ball from center, knowing whether you have a fullback in the backfield, whether to seat the ball or just give an extension with the football. And uh, the draw, draw game to keep your eyes down the field, act like you're passing, but mainly watch the ball into the running back's stomach every time and make sure you have that good mesh with him in order to cut down the fumbles as much as possible. Now, one more thing we can talk about is play action. So if we want to play action, which is the opposite of draw, we're going to take the ball back, extend it. You want that defense to think that you're running the football. So you're extending the ball. Mike's coming here. You don't want to take it too close because the ball might fall out. Okay, so right when you get about a yard away, snap it like that. Okay, 
and still keep your eyes in here just to make sell the fake even more. Then you take the ball back, get your head around so you can locate your receivers in the defense down the field and really make sure that your, your eye on the defense, you don't want to just come back fake and then look late and then try to make decisions. You want to get your eyes up as quickly as possible. All right, the last thing we're going to talk about is pitching the football. Now, if we call a common toss play to the right, most likely your offense, your coach, your offensive coordinator is going to want to going to want you to reverse out. So just like we did on the belly play where you reverse out and hand the ball, you're going to reverse out here, wait on your, your right foot so you can pivot, no false steps. Now you really want to seat the ball here because you might have a pulling guard or tackle coming around the corner. So you really want to seat the ball. Okay, you might take a little, little base step here just to get your body moving. The running back's going to, Mike here is going to take a straight line out to the side. So you want to seat the ball here, and one thing you don't want to do when you're about to pitch is drop the ball low because that creates a lot of problems with pulling linemen, like I said, guys coming around hitting the ball out. So a common theme here in uh, the running game has been ball security, as you can see. So said Hut, take the ball, Mike goes out. You want a dead pitch out to him, and you want to lead it out in front of him. Okay, and when, a de when I say dead pitch, we don't want the ball flipping a bunch of times in the air. We don't want the ball spinning. You want it to be an easy catch for the running back. So a nice dead pitch out in front of you see the ball just being dead like a little knuckleball. Okay, so today we talked about the run game tracks on the inside zone. We talked about the stretch plays, the outside zones. We've covered bellies, draw plays, draw plays, play actions, and pitches. So with all these, we should have covered um, most every run that would be in your offense. And so this has been your pro tip for the day, and I'm Caleb Haney.